Good morning, saints. This is Andrew Sheets with you, the Third Heaven Traveler. And the Third Heaven Traveler blog is about our spiritual life in Jesus Christ and Him and us who believe on Him and applying this existence to our physical world. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, King James Bible. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to share this exciting dream, this amazing dream that I had early this morning. And Lord, I believe that this lines up with your word as written in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 4 through 9. Lord, I thank you that myself and my brethren, Lord, the saints are not in darkness. <clears throat> Lord, I thank you that the day that the day of the Lord shall not overtake us as a thief, which will literally be the day of Christ, which will be the rapture, Lord. We will be taken and brought up, Lord, because we are the children of light. I thank you, Lord, that we're children of the day and not of the night nor of darkness. Lord, I pray that we and my fellow saints, that I and my fellow saints, that we not sleep <clears throat> as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Because, Lord, we know that those that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that are be drunken are drunken in the night. But, Lord, we, and I pray you uphold, sustain by your grace, of your grace, of your faith, Lord, that we are of the day that we're sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for a helmet of the hope of salvation. For, Lord, we know <clears throat> that you have not appointed us to wrath. Lord, we see that the Laodicean church and the spiritually blind, the carnal Christians, are not believing that we, the church, the body of Christ, will be raptured. They don't understand that we're not appointed to wrath. Lord, but we know the church, the church, that your body, the bride, knows that we <clears throat> are not appointed to wrath, but obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we comfort ourselves together and edify one another, even as your word says, Lord, I thank you. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Maranatha. Saints, the title of this is The Beginning of the Revelation, Dreams. Look up, saints. I awoke from a stark dream this morning at 3.45 a.m., if we take three plus four plus five, we see 12, and that is divine government. And it was local on this day, the 21st day, fifth month of 2023. And we know that five is grace, 21 is judgments of revelations, and 2024, correction, 2023 is our current year. In this very short but shocking dream, I heard the words, Go to the beginning of the word, and we know this is Genesis, and write down the third word. Then I heard, go to the beginning of the end of the word, Revelation, and write down the third word. Then I heard, now go and do the same for the sixth word in both. That means Gen Genesis and Revelation. So I immediately woke up. <clears throat> and I verbally repeated the dream over and over again, the words so I would not forget. Knowing that it was such a strong dream and I had such an unction from the Holy Spirit, I got up and wrote the dream down to make sure I would not forget because I sensed that this was from the Holy Spirit. And I had a strong sense of urgency of warning those who were lost but especially to encourage the saints. Note, this is a similar dream that I had back in 2013, 10 years ago. And the number 10 in the Bible indicates God's divine order 
God's divine completion and God's divine judgment. And it reflects God's authority and governmental rule over the affairs of mankind. And here's what I found. And I asked the saints to please check and verify this. When I did what the dream had told me, the words are beginning of the witch. In analysis, I found in Genesis the third word beginning. I then went to the book of Revelation and found the third word as of. I repeated the same for the sixth word and found the and which. Now it was clear that the dream was pointing to the end because I ended up in the final book of Revelation. It's also interesting to note if you take three plus six, it equals nine. And the nine, as you know, in scripture means judgment. This was done twice, which I believe is the witness thereof. It all ends here, folks. The final word, which, now we have to look and analyze this word. When we see the final word, which, ending in Revelation, the word which, in looking at the grammar, is a determiner and a pronoun, right? And it's used to specify or identify a noun, that being the revelation. So we would read my dream as follows, the beginning of the revelation. Now here is my interpretation. I look at this dream as a warning. And again, for the saints, this is exciting because we are in the beginning of the end. I strongly believe God is telling his children to look up. We are soon in God's time, but we are now soon to go into and begin the end, which is revelation. And this means that the end of this age for the saints will be our rapture and the seven-year tribulation beginning. Look up, saints. Even so, come, Lord Jesus Maranatha. In the links here, I urge you to read and study. The Church of Philadelphia will be raptured, receive crowns, and reign with Christ. Which church, listener, do you belong? The Church of Philadelphia or Laodicea? Also, I have a link in here about the end timeline of how the rapture happens, the tribulation, and the judgments thereof, the Bema judgment, the goat and sheep separation, the uh, great white throne judgment, uh, the millennial reign. All of these things are in that timeline. For those who are not familiar or do not know much <clears throat> about eschatology. Also, this is uh, the link in here of that very powerful, vivid dream I had 10 years ago, time has run out. Now, <clears throat> remember, time has run out did not mean that I saw that it was already out, but the Lord gave me a very clear dream vision of what it would be to those who were left behind when time has finally run out. And I know we know that day is upon us. I end this video with a link. Woe be unto you who think there is no pre-tribulation rapture. This is not a game. I'm not playing games anymore or arguing for the blind, lost, confused, who do not have the truth, the reason they don't know the truth. They don't believe in the pre-tribulation rapture because the truth is not in them, people. They cannot spiritually discern which is spiritual. They are blind. They're confused, and I believe they will not inherit the kingdom. And that's another study that I'm working on. But for those, again, be excited, saints. If you're not saved and you're coming upon and find this video, find Jesus now. Find him now. The gospel means the good news of salvation is found in 1 Corinthians. Find a King James Bible. Read it. Study it. If you believe that Jesus came 
<clears throat> died on the cross for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried. And if you believe that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, you are saved. Yes, you will have the Holy Spirit will convict you and you will have a very strong unction to repent and to cry out to the Lord and, and turn from your sin and, <clears throat> and, and believe this and knowing by faith that you are eternally secure in his. Again, saints, look up. Our redemption draws nigh. Hallelujah. Encourage each other. Comfort ourselves together and edify one another as it is written. Amen.